Hey guys, and I am back with Share Selfie Volume 2. We will be talking, or I will be showing you books out of the anthology section. Um, basically, any book that has more than one author goes in this section here, as well as this one, which is not more than one author. Uh, there's not many books on this shelf, so I'm actually going to do two shelves for you guys, because uh, there's just... I left space just in case because I, I have a bunch of books that need to go onto the shelf at the end of this month and I want to make sure that I'm not having to move everything down. All right, so without further ado, I hope you guys like this video and here we go. All right, so first on this shelf is Monstrous, which is a graphic novel. Let me actually move this light. You guys might actually be able to see something. I do all right, there we go. So is Monstrous. This book is beautiful. This is volume one. The next one, oh, and there's a thing from me dusting, is Kiss from Hell. Uh, Kisses from Hell, this one is actually a signed copy from uh, Chris and Cass when I got to meet them. But this has a whole bunch of different amazing authors in it. The next one is my hardback of Zenith, which was really good. Uh, then I've got a thing of crystals. You guys can see that, and uh, apparently money in there. Boop. And a little cup that says no excuses. This is from Haven. Um, I've got the entire four book Dune series, which is really good. If you like books about Scotland and stuff like that, definitely check these out. If you are an Outlander fan, but you want something YA, check these out because they're really good. Really, really good. Next one is Eve and Adam. This is about artificial intelligence. It is a contemporary romance sci-fi book, I guess you could say. Um, it was supposed to be a series, but it was never completely picked up. Uh, the next one is Nightfall. This one is very creepy. Very, very creepy. This In this world, they uh, their, their island has 14 years of day and 14 years of night. The next series is the Burn for Burn series by... Uh, Jenny Han, and I'm not going to pronounce the other lady's name because I can never get it right. Uh, uh, Vivian is her last name. Uh, these are really good. The new covers don't quite look like this. They look more like this one. But um, if you like contemporary, I would definitely check this out. If you like paranormal, I would check this out because this adds a paranormal element to it. I think halfway through book two. Very good. There's another little... Dragon. The next one is My Lady Jane by the amazing uh, Cynthia Hamm, Brody Ashton, and Jody Meadows. Uh, this is a retelling of Lady Jane. Uh, snark. It's got shapeshifters in it. Book two is coming out pretty soon. If you haven't checked out, you definitely need to. The next three books are um, These Broken Stars. I love these covers. They are so gorgeous. I have not read past book one for these, but I have read These Broken Stars, and it is amazing. Um, these are all basically standalone copies. I'm pretty sure that they're companions, but so they don't completely correlate. So it's like different characters, but you do see everybody else. All right, let's move my thingy back up there and that thing and move this thing. All right, so next on this shelf with light, we have books by Amber Argyle. We have volume one to uh, Winter Queen. Here's the companion novel of Witchfall, Witchborn, and Witch Song. Those were not in order. Those were backwards, just so you know. The next three books is the... I, think, I don't think it's the Glitch series. I think it might be called the Glitch series. Yes, it is. The Glitch series. So here are Glitch. This deals with a world where um, everybody lives underground. And this girl here, she uh, leaves... I don't remember why, but she gets out and then she ends up being like allergic to the world. It's really good. I haven't read book two and three yet though. This one is The Society. I cannot tell you anything that happened about happened in this book. I do not remember, but it was really good. If it's if it's on this shelf, I recommend it. The next ones are the Star Cross series. No, this is not based on the TV show that was out a while back ago. Ooh, rainbows. Those look so pretty. These are by jo Josephine Angelini. These I've actually read book one and two. I still need to read Goddess. This is all based on Greek mythology and heroes and powers and it's amazing and definitely something to check out. Whew. The next three is her next series, which is the Trial by Fire. I 
think this one has a different series name as well. Um, this is definitely one to check out. This is par Parallel Universes with witches and powers and creatures and all these different things. And it's amazing! Amazing! The next one is a very old book. Uh, this is actually one of the very few adult fantasy books that I have. This one I actually read back when I was like 19 or so. I paid like a quarter for it at the library or 50 cents, something like that. And I read it cover to cover. Uh, this one has like incubus, succubus, killers, magic. It's got everything in it. It's really good. The next two books are by Lenore Applehans. This is level two and chasing before. This one has actually been redone as the memory. I think it's the memory of forever or something like that. I don't remember. But this, this book one, the um, title has changed. Oh, the memory of after. So if you're going to look for this one, you're going to look for the memory of after. This one deals with uh, death and angels and a whole bunch of really creepy things. The next one is a finished copy of the problem with forever. This one is about a girl that deals with getting shuffled to different, um, different, uh, oh my goodness, my brain just died. Um, foster homes and being, um, abused and stuff like that so definitely something for those with trigger warnings our companion is a book about this girl that is in the foster care system and she's in i'm pretty sure an orphanage and she gets this amazing opportunity to go and um to another school where they pay like for everything and she finds out some very dark secrets about being a dark companion and um, i really enjoyed this book and i wish that it would have been picked up as a series because it would have been freaking amazing this would have made a amazing i still think it would it would make an amazing tv series um it would be up there with like the vampire diaries and the originals and all this stuff but kind of with like a little less um, teen drama, but it was really good. It's definitely something to check out. The next two, uh, these are actually based, this one is based on, uh, A Thousand and One Nights. I think The Rose and the Dagger is based on something on a different book. It doesn't say, I think it says on Goodreads. I would check it up on there. I haven't read book two yet, but I thought I was going to hate this and I actually devoured it and I loved it. It was so good. Uh, the next three books and the last books that are on this shelf are, um, the a bad girl don't die, the bad girl don't die series. And these, they kind of look, they're very creepy. They're definitely creepy. Um, it's YA. It's a good YA. Um, I don't remember what my review was. I haven't read these in ages, but I thought that they were going to be more middle grade, but they're so, they're so not. If you're looking for something creepy to read this year, here's your girl. Definitely check those out. So that is everything on this shelf and that shelf. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video and I will catch you guys next week with volume three. All right. Bye.